So for today's What What Wednesday question, we're going to answer the question that somebody asked us on uh, YouTube. Uh, how did you guys meet? What What? So we actually met for the first time around 10 years ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. I was working as a youth minister at a church that was close to Marissa's house. Her grandma went to that church and she just came by to visit and um, she liked what she saw, I guess, <laughs> apparently. So <laughs> she's been stalking me ever since. That is not true. <laughs> that's, that's the way he likes to remember it. <laughs> I had to look over my shoulder for 10 years, but yeah, it's uh... <laughs> that just wasn't the right time for us. And later on in life, um, we actually reconnected. We were um, playing pickup basketball at a, a local church. I went on a. What's he doing? I don't know. It's <sighs> <laughs> It's tough doing this. We've already tried four different spots for this video. We were on the uh, roof of the RV, but the balloons are going the wrong direction, so we moved to the ground. And then we got told to move. We got told our lives are in danger because we were 10 feet inside of the uh, the flags. And now we've got a, uh, a diesel pusher next to us. The generators aren't that bad. It'd be okay if we could keep going, but he has cranked up his RV. He's just letting it run. He's actually been revving it up. I don't know. He's not slid in or anything. He's not leaving. His car's parked behind it sideways. I mean, he's not getting ready to tow. All right, sidetracked. No I guess we're going to go for it. We're going to go. So that's what you hear in the background. So we were playing pickup basketball, and we were guarding each other, which we cannot do anymore. No, not a good idea. Because even if you do well, the other person's mad. Yeah, it's, it doesn't matter what happens. It's not a good day. It's not good for a marriage. No, no it's not relationship building. In, in the movies, it might look like it is. Oh, it's so cute. They're playing together, but no. We can be on the same team. We just yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> we weren't together at this time, but we knew who, we knew each other. I went for a fast break and got a layup and someone yelled, who's got Marissa? Because I was wide open and Nathan, who was guarding me, yells, She's been loafing all night. It wasn't true. She hustles for sure on the basketball uh -huh. court. But that one play made me look pretty bad. Um, <laughs> he called me out. <laughs> and then it was love from there. No. Yeah, yeah, perfectly. Um, <laughs> it wasn't too long after that, though, I asked her out, I don't think. And she actually said yes, so it must have been pretty romantic. I... <laughs> uh, he at least isn't revving it. He isn't revving it anymore, so. Oh, all right. Yeah, I asked her to go to a local park. We went for a run uh, and we walked and it was like a couple hours and it seemed like just a few minutes. And so I think we realized that we there was something there, I think. Um, or we just like talking about ourselves, probably, <laughs> probably one of the two. And then we ended up dating for about three years. Mm -hmm. I got married and that's why we're actually filming this here today is because when I knew I want to be with her for the rest of my life, I made the decision probably a pretty smart decision. Um, I kind of thought to myself, where could I pin her down where she could not say no? <laughs> so, so I took her to hot air balloon close to our hometown. She knew I was going to propose. We did not go on hot air balloons all the time. No. <laughs> well, I was working nights at the time as a nurse and Nathan comes and gets me out of bed in the middle of the day and he's like, get ready, we're going somewhere. And I was like, okay, well, what do I need to wear? He's like, well, just like you're going to like work out or go to the park. So I thought, okay, this guy knows me better than that. He's not taking me to. Why do I raise any red flags? Propose. Just say, hey, put on the nicest thing you got. I mean, <laughs> one because um... he's getting me out of bed and telling me like we're going to work out. So needless to say, I looked, I looked a hot mess. But <laughs> uh, so uh, he, we show up and we're going on a hot air balloon ride. And I thought, okay something's up and then when I saw the ring box in his pocket I, I knew what was about to go down so could have been anything it wasn't much of a shocker but it was very sweet and very beautiful that was a awesome experience and I think that's why hot air balloons are special to us for sure and the one Marissa wrote in I think the basket was probably about the same size I mean you could barely yeah. get three people in these baskets um, so it's a uh, I mean, I had a hard time finding it, figuring out how to get on one knee. And, yeah. Um, and if you've ever rode in one, when you shift your weight, the whole basket shifts. It's, yeah. it's kind of crazy. So you, there's not a lot of wiggle room either. So. And you could see the look on that pilot's face, man. He was like, please say yes, please. It was going to yeah. be an awkward ride. He was like <laughs> holding the burner, trying to look away. <laughs> it was 
<laughs> he knew. I mean, he knew what was going on. I talked to him about it. That would uh, that been a long ride, or he would have made it as short as possible. Sure. <laughs> like <laughs> so, landing right yeah. here. But uh, she obviously said yes. So it was a good decision. Good. Yeah. Not great. Just you know, <laughs> it was bearable. It was a wonderful decision. <laughs> and so uh, here we are. Hot air balloons are special to us, and. Um, I mean, for a lot of other reasons too. They're just awesome. So yeah, we'll be married five years come May. It's been fantastic. It's flown by, especially this last you know year and a half doing this. I, I mean, know. it's been fantastic. It's been such an adventure together. Yeah. There's nobody I'd rather do it with. Well, thank you. But that's how we met. That's our story. And um, I also wanted to mention several months ago, you might remember we interviewed the, the Calhoun family who goes by the Suburban Pilgrims. And um, Jason contacted me and said they're coming out with a documentary talking about selling their home and making that transition into full-time RV living, just the struggles and the victories and just, um, just he's got a fantastic trailer for that. If you get a chance, just head over to SuburbanPilgrims.com and uh, just watch the trailer and, and hopefully get a feel for the vision they have for this documentary they want to film. And they started a Kickstarter campaign for that and they're really hoping to get a good boost. Um, it launched a day or two ago, but we really want to help them get a boost right off the bat for that and uh, help him film that. Um, I think Jason's a good guy. He does a great job as far as video editing. Uh, we believe in their family or we wouldn't be talking about this. And so if, if you can, yeah, check it out, suburbanpilgrims.com. We're gonna get back to checking out the balloons. If you guys got any questions or comments, let us know.